Hi, this is Dr. Gerti Chimeka Anyangwoke. I am an infectious disease physician and I practice in Louisiana, USA. Today, we are going to be starting a series of discussions on sexually transmitted diseases, STDs. Our first series is on bacterial vaginosis. Yes, bacterial vaginosis is also commonly known as BV. Now, true or false? Women who have not had vaginal or oral or anal sex can be affected by BV. The answer is true. About 18.8% of women are in this category. However, we also know that it is typical for BV to occur in a woman that is sexually active. BV is in fact the most common vaginal infection or condition in women between the ages of 15 to 44. Although any woman can get BV and the, this increases the probability of getting an STD. The role of sexual activity in the course of BV, it is not very clear at this time. Estimatedly, it is prevalent in 21.2 million of women between ages 14 to 49 in the US. This prevalence increases with the number of sexual partners over time. About 84% of women have no symptoms of BV. Black women have higher rates of BV infection than other races. The actual rates are 51% for African American women, 32% for Mexican American women, and 23% for white American women. BV can be found also in pregnant women, about 25%, and other women who have ever been pregnant, 31.7%. How does BV spread? There are activities that can cause changes in the vaginal bacteria. Usually, there is what we call the good bacteria and the harmful bacteria that are present in the woman's vagina. The resident good bacteria in the vagina can be said to be the lactobacillus population which produces the acidic environment. The harmful bacteria, on the other hand, are considered to be the bacteria that alter the balance in the vaginal environment. For example, Gardnerella vaginalis, Privotella species, Peptostreptococcus species, and Bacteriodis species. Certain activities can cause imbalance between the good bacteria and the harmful bacteria. Such activities include, one, having multiple sexual partners, Two, having a new sexual partner. Three, women who practice the act of douching. These activities tend to increase the risk for getting BV and also increase the chances of acquiring other sexually transmitted diseases. Having said that, it is pertinent to note that women who have never had sex have less chances of getting BV. One cannot get BV from objects like the bed or toilet seats or even swimming pools. Prevention of BV. As at this time, we do not entirely understand the exact science of the spread of BV, but we believe the following suggestions may help decrease the risk for developing BV. One, use latex condoms with sexual activity. Two, avoid douching. Three, do not have multiple sexual partners. Four, and of course, the hardest one is do not have sex. Bacterial vaginosis and pregnancy. Bacterial vaginosis can occur in pregnancy and may lead to premature delivery of the baby or giving birth to smaller babies, that is, babies who weigh less than usual about 5.5 pounds. Now, how does a woman know she has BV? The woman can simply answer the following questions. Do you notice a strong fish-like odor, most especially after having sex? Do you have burning when urinating? Do you itch outside your vaginal area? Do you feel itching or burning 
or pain in the vagina. Do you notice a gray or white vaginal discharge? These could all be signs and symptoms of BV. Now, how do we test for BV? In testing for BV, a sample of vaginal fluid can determine the presence of what we call clue cells. Clue cells are vaginal cells with bacteria stuck to them, so they bulge at the edges. You can consult with a healthcare provider for this test. You can visit the website stdassessment.com for easy testing and treatment in the USA. Treatment of bacterial vaginosis. BV can be treated with antibiotics. However, it is important that you finish the prescribed medication as this may decrease the risk of getting other STDs. BV may recur even after treatment. BV may sometimes resolve without treatment. BV may be transferred between female sex partners and so the female sex partners need to be treated also. However, male sex partners do not need to be treated. What are the consequences of not treating BV? BV can lead to getting STDs like HIV, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and even pelvic inflammatory disease, also known as PID, which can lead to infertility, making it harder for a woman to get pregnant in future. If BV is left untreated, it can lead to premature babies or underweight babies. For further information, you can go to stdassessment.com or email help at stdassessment.com. Again, my name is Dr. Getty Chimeka Anyamwoke. I am an infectious disease physician and I practice in Louisiana, USA.